This is a friend's wood, one of the places I keep a few hives. Only this time, a tree has fallen over onto three of them. Mm -hmm. A quick look shows that this hive has been knocked clean off its stand and is now lying upside down with many miserable bees wondering what to do. I can't get in this way in a bee suit, so we approach from the field side. That's a mighty tree. This is Yap. He bravely went in to save the bees last night and got a few stings for his troubles. You see on the other side it's completely hollow. Uh... Hmm. What a shame. It's a copper beech and one of the oldest trees around. It's been dying for a while though these bracket fungi are a bit of a giveaway. I think you can... <laughs> <laughs> there must a... have been some force coming I'm down. Glad... Look at that one too. Yeah. Buried itself right in. <laughs> Good grief. What a, what a sad thing. But so I have it's going to make yeah, lots yeah. of homes for other things to yeah. live in, isn't it? But at your best guess, you would say 80 years. No, I think it's older now, I am. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One twenty? A hundred and twenty years old, which puts its birth around 1895, when Queen Victoria ruled this land. Things, isn't it? It's incredible. What a wonderful tree. But you don't normally see them like this. It's like a dead no. elephant or something, isn't it? Only very few trees of this age survive locally and very few of those are beech trees. It was well known in the area and the field it was in was called the beech tree field. This hive could have been smashed to pieces so easily. As it is, I just have to put it back on its stand and the bees should be fine. Honeybees would never abandon their babies, whatever the circumstances, but in this country, they would quickly die without shelter. All they need is a warm, dry space, but without a roof, they'd be dead in a week. This is just a two-box colony, but it's full, so I give them another one while I'm at it. It's right up against this huge branch. It must have missed the hive by just millimetres. Apologies for the dodgy camera work. I wasn't expecting to make a video and just grabbed the camera on the way out the door. The other hives are buried in smaller branches, but they're all still on their stands, luckily. We'll wait until winter to clear the timber. Oh, the joys of beekeeping. <laughs>